Hello and welcome to the short board on Parshas Vayislach from Hamishish Tashishi. In Perak Lamedalad, it says, Vatetze Dina Bas Leia, and Dina, the daughter of Leia, went out. Next Pasuk, it says, Vayaro Sashchem Ben Hamar, then the prince of the neighborhood there, Shechem, the son of Hamar, he saw her and he took her and he had relations with her. And then it says in the Pasuk after that, Pasuk Gimel, Vatidbak Nafsho Bedina Bas Yaakov. And his soul felt attached to Dina, the daughter of Yaakov. Rav Alter Hanoch Henach Leibowitz, the Rosh Yeshiva of Yeshivas Rabbeinu Yisrael Meir HaKohen, who passed away in 2008 in his Sefer Chidushe Leib. So he tells us an interesting point and lesson to learn from uh, this incident and the language that's used here. Devekis is a special language of closeness that Hashem has for the Bnei Yisrael and that the Bnei Yisrael desired to have from Hashem. It's one of the several Lishonos uh, phrases or languages uh, of this expression. And what Rav Leibowitz points out here is that the beginning of the parsha says Vayar, that Shechem saw like a, like a, a bird of prey saw a piece of flesh and he des- desires it and grabs it and that's what he did too he just had physical desire however after he was intimate with her and she was a person of Kedusha it had an influence on him somehow it had an impression on him that then he looked at her in a second way and the language of Devekas that he wanted to be with her because he recognized her greatness as a Dina Bas Yaakov, as the daughter of Yaakov. So the question is, how could this person, this Russia, who rapes and seduces, however you want to call it, this young girl, that now he's becoming positively influenced? How could this be? So we see somewhere else, um, this reminds me of, of uh, the story of, of Yosef Meshisa, who helped the Romans at the time of the destruction of the base of Mikdash, and as a reward, reward for guiding them, they told him, go inside the base of Mikdash and take back, take out whatever valuable you want. He came back out with the, with the menorah, and they said, no, you're a commoner, this is not appropriate for you to have it, you have to return it, go back in and take something else out. However, at this point, Yosef said, I'm not going to go back in, it's bad enough I violated my God's holy place once, I'm not going to go repeat and they, they first tried to entice him and then they threatened him and eventually they killed him. So how is it that he was able to not give in a second time? The answer is the same as with uh, Shechem. It's the power of being of, of contact with Kedusha. The power of going into the base of Mikdash changed this formerly evil person. Having contact with Dina changed Shechem. Made him have a better made him somewhat uplifted to some uplifted to some extent. You know that's in fact probably the reason one of the explanations of why uh, Yaakov and Dina were published were punished is that Yaakov hid his daughter Dina so that Asa would not see her and want her, but he should have given her to Asa because she could have potentially influenced Asa to become better and come come closer to God. Such is the power of having a connection to tzaddikim, to chachamim, to Torah, to Kedusha. So the lesson for us to learn is never to give up anyone, even someone who's far off the derech. They can be pulled closer to Hashem by having a connection with, with Kedusha, with Torah, with chachamim, with tzaddikim. And not just the people who are far off the derech, but we too can be elevated by creating a greater kesher, a greater connection, the gedolim, the righteous people, and Dere Kedusha that we already have. So thank you for listening. Have a wonderful week and a wonderful Shabbos.